hey y'all welcome to my channel so we gonna jump right in right there as you can see my hair was just washed and I'm detangling it and section it off to blow dry so this is after the blow drying process um, I just take a paddle brush with a blow dryer and kind of go through the little sections of my hair to get it as straight as I possibly can so here you realize I am in a different shirt. I totally forgot to record the curling process or what I do after or how I curl it after the blow drying process. So I ended up doing it like a few weeks later. So I just came back and recorded it and added it into this clip. So basically you're gonna section your hair off again, comb through it. I think the first time I blew it out, it was more straighter. I could tell by the ends, it's not as straight as I know I can get it, but you'll see it, it's still gonna come out great. So you just take your curling wand, you take a little piece of a section, and you, I start kind of at the bottom, um, about the root of my hair, not the bottom, but the root. I wrap it, my hair around, around the wand curled, and then I kind of like twist the wand curl down to get a little bit closer to my root. Hold it for a few seconds, not too long. And I think it really depends on how coarse your hair is, how much heat it can take. So... You got to kind of know your hair, how long it can stand the heat before it burns. And then just kind of release it after that. So this is the process where I'm doing it in normal speed, where you can go through it and see for yourself. Do my face, maybe fluff it out, mm -hmm. play with it some more, see if you can see better. Mm -hmm. So we gonna see, we gonna come back at the So this is the aftermath, um, I just took an extended band, I kind of put it around my head and puffed it up into a ponytail, took a little pieces down, that was pretty much it. And this was a few days later. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.